Hi and welcome back. So today we're going to work out if you can make a fluid head out of a normal camera tripod. Let's try it. So this is my new YouTube uh, video setup, the uh, Canon 600D uh, with the external boom mic. Um, just give you a bit of a pan around. So one of the one of the key issues around any kind of camera setup is uh, this the uh, tripod. And this is just a a general you know stills camera tripod. And you think you can get by, but one of the main problems is of course the um, the fluid head, which you can see there. Um, one of the problems is when you move it around it creaks because it isn't a fluid head. So I'm going to try an experiment today to see if you can get a fluid head result out of a stills camera. First thing you need to do is take the camera off. It's got actually a, um, uh, a trigger shoe here. So um, I better not do that one-handed, so I'll just take the camera off. So now the camera is out of its uh, uh, lock shoe. I'll just uh, take it away. So you can see under here, the central uh, pivot deal. So I'm just going to move the top uh, shoe out of the way to get more um, access to it. And then uh, I'm going to try and get into here, so to make this, to make this less creaky. Camera. Unfortunately uh, I can't open this up without having the right tool to undo this top section but I can get a screwdriver in here and I can leave this apart so what I'm going to try and do is get some fluid in here. Let me just show you what I'm thinking of and we'll see if it works. Um, the head of this camera doesn't really have any lubrication and um, most fluid head cameras normally have a oil and gear arrangement in their top. And I was thinking, well, I got oil, but what you need is kind of thick oil. And so thinking about what I had, of course, I've got a chainsaw. And um, if you look at some chainsaw oil, it's actually designed to have extra cling. And extra cling is that it's kind of sticky or another word for it is viscous for those playing at home. Anyway, I'm going to try and drip a few drips of this into the top here and make it a little bit more slick and resistant at the same time. So we're going to see how that goes. So I have my little oil can filled with this uh, viscous um, oil stuff and we're going to see if we can actually drip some in here. I'm just trying to work it in a bit. Might have to add a bit more. So after a bit of oil in there and moving it around a bit, it has actually loosened up quite a bit. I also uh, got a screwdriver into the screw gap here and just leave it apart a little bit to make it a bit more, uh, more space on the head here. So it is now much smoother to turn, but I can still feel a little resistance when it just starts off. There's a little just a little resistance and that's just using one finger to push it but of course there's nothing on the head at the moment so I'm gonna put the camera back on and see how it responds with a bit of weight on it. Actually I'm surprised even with the extra weight of the camera it glides around pretty smoothly. That's just using just using one finger there's a little resistance like I said when it first starts to move and I haven't locked this down at all I mean I could sandbag the legs and do all those kind of 
semi-pro, pro kind of things to make the tripod more stable. But you know, overall it's much smoother, much less resistance than it had before. So that might actually be functional. I think once the oil gets a little older in this joint, gets a little bit more sticky again, it'll actually make it better. But for now, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's try a sample actually from the camera itself. Overall, I'm going to say that this actually works pretty well. If you want a cheap solution to give you a bit of a smoother panning tripod head. Well, after all that, I think we can say that the, uh, the chainsaw uh, chain oil does make the head on the still camera tripod a bit more like a fluid head. It does make it smoother when you're panning, but it's nowhere near as good as an actual fluid head. So I think, long story short, no, you can't make a fluid head on a standard still camera. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. helicopter hang on sorry for the background noise it's the windiest jet propelled construction driven weekend you would believe but anyway that's one of the reasons we get out to the country right the helicopter the helicopter the helicopter <laughs>